The sky is thick with hazy air, and people are covering their mouths and noses with masks. Both fine dust and ultra fine dust levels have risen today, especially in the capital and surrounding areas. According to the Korea Environment Corporation, as of 5 p.m. on Tuesday, fine dust levels went over 149 micrograms per cubic meter in Seoul, peaking at 153 micrograms per cubic meter in Incheon. Ultra fine particles, which are smaller than 2.5 micrometers, were also reaching severe levels nationwide, with levels in the capital region being around 100 micrograms per cubic meter. I saw that the fine dust level is high today through an application this morning, so I decided to wear a mask. The Environment Ministry has issued fine dust advisories from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. today in Seoul, Incheon, Gyeonggi, the province, and Chungcheongbu, the province. And emergency fine dust reduction measures have also been put in place. The measures have extended to tomorrow and will apply not only to the capital area, but also to Busan, Daegu, Chungcheongdo provinces, Sejong city, and parts of Gangwon-do province. Grade 5 emissions vehicles will be banned from operating in Seoul and the surrounding area until 9 p.m., and if operated, the drivers will be fined around 83 U.S. dollars. The measures also require public sector vehicles and public sector workers' vehicles that have plates ending with odd numbers not to be used. Foreigners will now be able to get translated text messages warning them of various advisories. The Korea Tourism Organization said on Monday that it will cooperate with the Ministry of Public Administration and Security to provide a service that sends emergency text messages to tourists in foreign languages. The service translates the disaster advisory text messages into eight foreign languages, including English and Chinese, and sends them to tourists and foreigners residing in Korea. The service is available on an app called Emergency Ready or will be provided through the 1330 Korea Travel Hotline.